everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. It's Saturday, so that means we got another Naruto character review for you. And today's character is Might Guy, the master of Taijutsu. Now, as always, there's going to be some spoilers. So if you, for some reason, are watching this and you haven't seen Naruto, and you're not caught up on Naruto, you might want to do that. Um, uh, at least get fairly close on this one. Uh, there's not going to be a ton of uh, super recent stuff, but still some definite recent things so definitely want to check that out um and but yeah i suspect you've probably all seen it and if not if you don't like you don't care about spoilers, who cares watch it anyways um but definitely bookmark me if uh, if you want to watch later so that you know you can watch later um i think there's a watch later button on there anyways um so my guy basic well let's start off with his backstory as a kid this is something that they only showed recently um and well Basically, his his dad was kind of pathetic. He was really pathetic, which is probably why he was so enthusiastic about taking Leon as a student, because he saw a lot of his own father in Lee. Um, I, I really think there's a lot to that. Uh, Guy himself was actually all, always somewhat gifted. Um, he saw Kakashi's arrival from a young age, and um, actually it was his dad that... Um, told him to make Kakashi his rival and to do that. So that's kind of an interesting story there. Um, his dad, as pathetic as he was, he learned how to open the eight inner gates and taught it, that to Guy. That was like the one thing that his dad was actually pretty good at. Otherwise, you know, he, he was just some genin. He, he was a, you know, he was an adult. He was still a genin. He really showed no promise of ever becoming a chunin. So, yeah, his dad not a particularly gifted ninja uh, but you know he was what he was and thanks to him he really you know he shaped guy into the guy into you know who he is um, he taught guy a lot of valuable lessons um, about you know always being a good guy and because guy is always a good guy he's just a nice guy through and through he's always helpful always fly um, you know he, he's a good person um, and yeah, so then, uh, let's see, what else is there about Guy? Um, let's get to once, you know, he gets a little older. Uh, he, of course, um, is the leader of, um, Team Guy, which consists of Neji Huga, uh, Rock Lee, and, uh, Ten Ten. We have no idea what her last name is. Uh, as far as I know, might be somebody who knows it. I have no clue what her name is, other than that it's Ten Ten. But anyways, uh, so it's a squad of Taijutsu specialists, um, which, you know, suits Guy pretty well. He's not particularly strong at ninju uh, ninjutsu or genju genjutsu. but I cannot talk today. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's he can do ninjutsu, and he's definitely capable of breaking genjutsu, uh, something Lee has no talent for. But Guy does have some. He's just not his specialty by any means. Um Guy is, uh, you know, he's just super close with Lee because he just sees a lot in him. Not just the fact that they look a lot alike, but the fact that, um, you know, there's, uh, he sees a lot of his dad in Lee. And, yeah, um, they're just very similar guys. And uh, when Lee's, you know, uh, having to choose whether or not to give up on his dream of being a shinobi because he got hurt in the fight against Gara. Lee's uh, guy was like, you know, if you die in the surgery, I'll die too, which is like, holy crap, that's some serious stuff. He really cares about Lee a lot, like, a lot. Um, so, yeah, you, I really like that about Guy. Uh, then once you get into uh, Shibuden, um, well, even before Shibuden, you see him fight against uh, uh, Kisame um, yeah, when Kisame and Itachi... Uh, enter the village. It's a pretty brief fight. Um, you know, he just gives uh, Kisame a good kick and knocks him back. And that was really all there was to it. But that's something Kisame remembered. Although Guy completely forgot him. Not sure how that's possible since Kisame's pretty weird looking. So uh, I don't know how you'd forget a face like that. Um, but uh, Guy certainly did. Uh, then at uh, the start of Shibuya, he fought him again. Um, and you know, he got his uh, got his butt kicked. A well, he actually he actually he kicked Kisame's butt, but it wasn't really Kisame. It was uh, 
Uh, it was a replica. It was basically, it was a replacement that it was a special jutsu that um, Payne was using. But anyways, um, he, had to, he ended up opening uh, what was it? Six of the inner gates in order to do that, which uh, it, it took his toll on him. Those inner gates are not easy to open by any means. So yeah. Um, then he fought up. Uh, you see him fight against Kisame again uh, later, uh, and he actually kills Kisame and takes him down. Well, he doesn't kill Kisame. Uh, Kisame ends up dying still, though. I forget exactly how that happens. Uh, it's been a long time since I've got that. Uh, I've watched that part, uh, and I have only watched that section once. But anyway, so guy he uh, takes down Kisame, and he has to open seven of the inner gates for that, and. He's in some pretty rough shape after that. Like he can't move. He's, you know, he he's pretty well, uh, you know, he, he can't move. He's just lying there. Like even getting poked is incredibly painful for him. It's really that bad. But you know, guy is really the only person who could beat Kisame because uh, Kisame has all this chakra absorbing abilities. It's like, haha, your ninjutsu won't work against me. And guy's like, I use taijutsu, so. And I'm better at taijutsu than anyone else, so take that. Because, um, you know, that's just guy. Uh, I mean, he didn't say that, but that's so what happened. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he did say it a little, but not, you know, he didn't brag that much. But, yeah, um, you know, and then uh, one of the coolest things with Guy is when he actually went up against uh, Madara. Holy crap. He was actually kicking the crap out of Madara for a little while. Like, everybody's like fighting Madara. Madara fought against the five Kage all together and took them down with a fair amount of ease. You know, he took down the first Hokage's reanimation. Uh, that one was tough for him, but, you know, the first Hokage and Madara are pretty evenly matched. Um, yeah, so. He, you know, Matter is just like destroying everyone. Naruto and Sasuke are having a hard time. Like everyone's just having such a hard time against freaking uh, Matter. And Guy opens all eight inner gates, which doing so is you're gonna die. Um, so uh, he does this. He knows he's gonna die. He says his goodbyes to Lee. Um, Lee doesn't want him to do it, but you know, uh, Guy says some inspirational words. I forget exactly what they were, and Lee's like. <laughs> Go get him, Guy Sensei, and he's like crying, and it was it was a really sad, emotional moment. But then he opened all the gates, and he just started kicking ass. Just Matter is just getting blasted around. He's using all these amazing techniques that nobody can get past. Like you know, he's got these Sage Mode um, Ball Staff things, and um, that block just about any attack. But Guy's just moving so fast, they're completely useless to him. It's just ridiculous. Like he's just beating the crap out of Matter, and Matter can't do anything about it. Um, but uh, Madara doesn't, it's not enough to actually take down Madara. Basically, he just beat him back for a while and, you know, Mad uh, then had to spend some time recovering after that. Uh, meanwhile, Guy, after uh, the attack was finished, his body just started, like, disintegrating. Like, it was crumbling, it was literally crumbling away. Like, every ounce of energy in his body had just been sapped from it and he was just turning into a, just this pile of ash. Um, and, you know, he was pretty well done for. And then, uh, big spoiler here, uh, that all was a pretty big spoiler, but then Naruto comes up because um, he had just received power from the, uh, the Sage of the Six Paths himself, and he used some of that power to uh, stop the process uh, for Guy and actually cause him to regenerate his body and come back to uh, full. So, you know, Guy didn't actually die, but he would have if it wasn't for Naruto. Uh, so... Yeah, um, Guy, definitely an awesome character. I love Guy Sensei. Um, just one of the best uh, ninja out there. You know, Kakashi's rival, um, right on par with Kakashi in terms of strength. Um, very different than Kakashi because, you know, Kakashi's got all these tricks and this guy's, you know, just pretty well brute force. Um, but, yeah. Uh, anyways, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about Guy. Um, you know, I mean, Guy's awesome, I think, so... Um, definitely would love to nerd out with you guys about him down there. Um, and I, I mean, you guys can nerd out with each other too. I'll nerd out with you though. You know, it's all good. At least until I, uh, this channel blows up enough that I can't keep up with you anymore. But it shouldn't be for a while. Anyways, um, 
hopefully it's sooner, but you know, you never know. But uh, anyways, uh, definitely want to subscribe to this channel if you like the video, because um, you're going to be getting one another one of these every week, plus a bunch of other stuff. Um, we've got another video coming out Sunday, um, definitely a random one, so you know that's tomorrow. So definitely want to come back tomorrow and check that out. Um, who knows what that video is going to be? I don't even know what it's going to be right now. So, uh, you know, definitely a mystery video. Um, but uh, definitely come back tomorrow and check that out. Um, and, you know, uh, share the video if you liked it so, you know, your friends can see it too. I mean, don't be selfish and hog these videos all to yourself. If, you know, you think your friends would like them, let them, you know, help them out. Let them see it too. Uh, you know, uh, anyways, I'm Mitch. I'll be seeing you.